True Lies, Season 1, Episode 13, Thoughts. This episode is called Waking Dreams, so spoilers for these 13 episodes, as well as the film, and yeah, I love every episode of this season. Too bad we're not going to get more because of the reception. Let's dive right in. So, yeah, we get the explanation of why, you know, what is Crypsis and why did Yelena choose the, the, yeah, you know, and we get a, you know, <laughs> turns out that, I mean, it's not, I don't think it's supposed to be the scene from the movie because there's like, yeah, it's, it's a different, it's definitely not supposed to be the exact same, you know, but yeah, it's a very direct reference, you know, can I see your invitation? Here's my invitation. It, you know, presses the, so, so yeah. Was that supposed to be, cause like he doesn't really sound the way that Harry does and the, anyway whatever but but yeah you know now we know why you know that so the the Yelena as a kid by the way just really I, I don't think I said this talking about the the last week's episode Annette Marendu great job as Yelena she's very very like it's too bad we we're not gonna get a season two because they would definitely she would have been like a recurring villain clearly so so yeah but, but, um, yeah, so she, you know, learn, you know, talking to him about Crypsis, that was the last thing before he died, you know, so, so it makes sense that she would use that, and I appreciate the detail that apparently, like, you know, Omega uses Telenix, to, to, some, something like that, is you know, as a cover, and Crypsis, I think it was called Nixis or something like that, so, yeah. But yeah, um, let's see. So, so I guess that means she named Crypsis. She's in charge of Crypsis, maybe even, even though she's also going on field mission. But that's that's fiction for you. And yeah, I like you know Dana is struggling with recovering from learning the truth about the whole spy thing. That, yeah, I don't think I noted it anywhere, so I would say I could imagine season two, like, obviously, at the very least, they would have, um, they would, like, it would have reflected the fact that now the entire family knows, and, you know, there would probably be more stuff with Max and Dana together, maybe there would even be stuff with them, like, joining on missions or something, you know, maybe not, like, in the field, but in the maybe not even in the van, but in the in the control room back in, you know, something. The way that they did participate a little here. And Luther and Maria talk, and they talk about, you know, if, if Harry is... If Harry is, our, is the brother of both of us, we'd be like cousins, no, we'd be like siblings, you know, oh, okay, okay, never mind. He's our half brother, you know, and just yeah. I I'm not gonna lie, I might actually kind of miss the the Luther Maria scenes now that there's no more of of this show. That it's, they they grew on me like a tumor. It it took a little while at first. I was like, what are they doing here? They're not particularly interesting, but yeah. Jake never got to be interesting. Jake never got to get interesting. I I maybe they were hoping. That, that season two he would get to be interesting. Lucas J, you know, almost definitely he isn't watching this, but just in case, dude, you deserve better. I think you do a good job on this show. It's really not your fault that they have no idea what to do with your character. Holy crap, you've been acting since 2009. Cool. Anyway, the... the um, 2009, so he... And it does not seem to say but yeah he'd be like a, a little kid back then impressive anyway the the yeah and we get the you know the old snow globe and we get the thing about the fox which is one of the things that uh, Helen later uses to 
snap Harry out of the, yeah. And, yeah, this episode was actually directed by Matt Nix. Very cool. And, yeah, so we see, you know, Yelena wants revenge more than, you know, she doesn't want information. Let's see. And, you know, yeah, she said, you know, I'm going to protect people from you, you know. And, you know, truth serum. Hardly, which is a nice little wink, and a, you know, and it is like really wouldn't be interesting to do truth serum here. And conversely, I don't think it would have worked for the movie if instead of truth serum, Harry got injected with you know, the, and they were trying to like turn him again. That wouldn't have worked at all. So, so yeah, I really approve of the the change. And yeah, so apparently. He killed, when he killed her, well, yeah, I'm still not 100% certain if it, that is supposed to be Harry, or our Harry, the, the show's Harry. Anyway, anyway, a Omega agent killed Yelena's father, and she points out, you know, this was the, you know, him, him working there as a guard was the only job he could get as a refugee, you know, they, they made, like, they really went the whole way, not, not just like, oh, you know, he came from a poor neighborhood, not just, he was an immigrant, no, he was a refugee, like, they, they, maybe it's not so bad that the show is ending if they were going in that direction, that, please don't demonize refugees, they're already in cages, they're, they're not, yeah, I got a real Mexican Joker vibe, from, from that, honestly. But, yeah, so, Harry's initial escape, you know, like, obviously it's it's a hallucination, so I appreciate they don't spend forever before revealing it, but, yeah, you know, he goes back, you know, he, he fights his way out, fires two submachine guns, you know, I will never turn down dual wielding in my fiction. It's always, always badass. And, you know, he gets back to the family, and it's like, so we gotta get to Omega. Omega? Harry? Where the Crips is <laughs> I really do, I, it, props to them for, for twisting it just slightly to make it creepy and sinister, and just, like, Ginger Gonzaga, as well as Erica Hernandez, uh, who plays Maria Ruiz, um, you know, both great job on on making it creepy. I think Luther's was creepy. Uh, uh, Gibbs was def Gibb was definitely also creepy. I'm not sure we we didn't get much of a chance to appreciate Luther being creepy. I think he might have done okay, but yeah, the the rest of them just the, you know Gibb with does this feel real? You know, just the because it's like you know he's he's gotten intense before. It's not the first time we're seeing him be like. Oh, you want you want to go? This is this is you're you're testing me, okay? <laughs> Not the first time we've seen him like that, but it's the, you know there's the the creepy factor of him like no, I'm I'm with Cripses now, it's just yeah, and yeah, you know it is clever like th this kind of guided hallucination thing. You know there are drugs that that will do that. You know some people to take them completely out of their own accord and as long as they know what they're headed into I think that's great but yeah the and you know he points out we've never used this much before <laughs> I appreciate bringing that have they done that cliche before on the show I'm not entirely sure they have but that's it's you know it's a golden oldie I think the, the thing of you know <gasps> Never before have we this, that, and the other thing, you know. And Kevlar tries to sniff out where Harry was, and they didn't have to, and I know it's a really immature joke, but I did kind of like, you know, they're like, we need DNA. <gasps> the scent, you know, if, if Kevlar can get the scent, we just need to find something of Harry's, you know, and the, the yeah, the tactical vest makes sense that they would have to get him out of that, you know, and, and just dump that, the... You know, so so Helen grabs that. Oof, yeah, that's definitely what Harry smells like when he's nervous. Luther, can you confirm? 
that's not <laughs> a lot of straight dudes. We did. We were not crazy about smelling each other's nervous sweat. That's just not a thing, you know. But it's you know it's an important. It's a it's a it's just, will he will he take one for the for the cause? But it's just yeah. And you know apparently, um, Alec Ma Max rather, Max like got the the. You know he was he was, looking for cop cars. The the, what's it called like the um. Yeah, I I was thinking you know Max played by Charlie Nix. Yeah, he is the son of Matt Nix. He was on Burn Notice. Wow. Um. Well, yeah, I mean, that was so many years ago, I, I guess I wouldn't recognize him. Um, Jack. I mean, there were a bunch of kids on that show. Yeah, I, I don't remember, but that was back in 2000. That episode was in 2009. He was on The Gifted, which I am intending to get to. I know it's not technically canon, but it's on Disney+, Plus. it's Marvel. I'll happily do but but yeah, you know, I'm I'm doing the those shows in order of release, so I won't it won't be like immediately. Anyway, the the and and I'm but yeah, I'm starting on Agents of Shield as soon as I'm done with animated uh, Star Wars. I th might as well at this point give you the date when to expect it. Yeah, Agents of Shield. I'm expecting to do my season one thoughts around the 22nd of September. So, not right away, just so you don't, you know, get, to, just so you know what to expect. Let's see, but, but yeah, you know, um, Max was looking for cop cars, which, you know, Dana's like, is that, you know, and he's like, maybe we should talk about this at some other point. And, you know, Luther brings back the, the family metaphor, and then he really stretches it past the breaking point, and Maria's like, that was very sweet, but also pretty confusing. It's just, you know, yeah. Right, I, I want to briefly say, I do think they did a great job, uh, you know, I mean, we can, we get a... We get an indication of what a season two would have been like, but the fact that we're not going to get, well, like, they didn't end on a cliffhanger, you know, this is not, like, one of the, like, I love Alias, and thankfully they did, they resolved all of them, you know, but they had a tendency to end seasons on cliffhangers, and it would have been incredibly frustrating if even one of those didn't get resolved. But they they don't end the the series finale on a cliffhanger, you know. But but yeah, it's not a it's not a cliffhanger ending. It's just a hint that the, you know it's yeah, the, there will be you know. But but yeah, they you know we know that Maria stays with the team, and it would have also been like come, come on, like if you bring in someone else, it's going to completely screw up the the what's it called the dynamic, you know. Uh, yeah, by the end, you know, we know that Dana, you know, now Dana and Jake know which can, you know, create a new status quo. You know, season one gets a lot of, gets a lot out of the, the, you know, the two adult taskers keeping the secret from their children, you know, and, and Helen adjusting to this. A season two might have shown Dana and Jake starting to adjust to it. And, yeah, really love the, the hallucination where Harry is fighting several, of, and, and Maria's creepy smile. I, I really appreciate, like, when she when she wants to do, like, a, a, a crap-eating grin, it's like, I guess you're, just, well, Luther, I guess you're just gonna have to talk to me, aren't you? You know, and, and when she's, like, being charming to, to, you know, as a spy thing, when she's being, like, intense, just the, the whole way it, it absolutely works. Love the visuals of the, the hallucinations. There's, like, these, you know, be, like, glitches, and the, the light is kind of 
almost overpowering, but without it being like outright unpleasant to look at. And they do this thing where it's sort of slow motion, and there's these fades between the different moves of, moves of slow motion. You know, it it helps sell that he's being overwhelmed without it being unpleasant to watch, which is, you know, the if you think if you've ever experienced like seeing or hearing something that was overwhelming to you it's not pleasant you know so so just yeah and uh so yeah and and we you know yeah Yelena really is planning to turn Harry on the rest of Omega and you know she points out you know I you know I had for years I dreamt my father was still alive and you know I I, I had to try to figure out was was the nightmare worse and it's just yeah and I you know I, I wish it wasn't like the villain backstory I really wish that they didn't take these actual you know because like American spies have killed a lot of people in in their missions a number of them innocent sometimes intentionally killing innocent people you know so it's the turning that character into a villain don't don't really love that i wish they used it as a criticism of american spy agencies i guess maybe matt nix got turned around on it because there's a lot of criticism of the cia in burn notice so i guess like Somewhere around the way, I don't want to say he's sold out. Anyway, and uh, but but yeah, you know, I I distinctly remember, you know, I I did dream for for years after my mother died. I was still dreaming that she was alive somehow. Let's see, and yeah, you know, breach and. Yelena pushes Harry, you know, she kills her own people, lets him go, and it does look similar to the the imagined escape earlier, you know, and she points out, you're just going to have to make up your mind, your own mind. Would I really kill my own men? Would I really, you know, free you? So, yeah, that was, uh, let's see, and yeah, you know, Harry starts shooting at the other Omega agents and, you know, Trilby, like, it, it sucks, but you do understand where she's coming from, you know, it is this thing of, like, yeah, honestly, you, you could really, like, this is, like, a mild rewrite away from being, like, a burn notice, you know, like, I can't work for the spies who tried to have me killed, you know, the, the, just, yeah, anyway. But, but yeah, you know, she points out, you can't leave and leave a compromised Omega agent there. You know, she, yeah, Take, put him down. I'm telling you to kill Harry Tasker. You know, and, and Gib says, I told her to, you know, go to hell, but she's sending a hit squad, which, you know, honestly, I thought that the hit squad, that there would actually be, like, you know, they were going to have to fight the hit squad or something, but it was still cool. This, this was a very cool finale. And, uh, you know, yeah, the the Helen manages to, to get Harry to remember enough, including using the Fox Snow Globe story and talking about, you know, Paris and the the dancing and the, the whole thing. And yeah, you know, Maria says she will stay with them because we're family and you would probably get killed if I left. The woman knows what she's worth. She you know, she's it's it's top tier. Love to see it. And now we have to run because there's a countdown and big explosions and it is like okay i just yeah it's it's a you know it's a season finale you're going to you're going to throw some extra stuff at us but but yeah it was it was good and you know they talk about oh the the was the debriefing like a cavity search or a root canal Harry was on so many drugs, I thought he was going to end up selling t-shirts out of a van <laughs> at concerts. Wow. 
and yeah, you know, they say, so Phrypsis can do this to an Omega agent. There's a new threat level. Some big changes are coming to Omega. So, you know, you can, you can see how they would have, you know, a, yeah, a second season would have, I could, I could imagine it might have been darker. Um, the, the humor might have been toned down uh, somewhat, you know, based on this, this episode. And, yeah, Dana tries to talk her way out of having to do homework because of knowing about the spy stuff. Jake is hoping he'll get a gun. I mean, that is, yeah, pretty, pretty credible reactions they have. Begin phase three, unless the show is cancelled. And, yeah, you know, it is, it, it would have been cool to see what season two would have been. And, you know, there weren't so many man babies online whining about a woman getting to be cool in a piece of fiction. Maybe we would have gotten one, but, you know... It was harder saying goodbye to Marvel Netflix than than it is to, to say goodbye to this. I'm not gonna lie, but yeah, um, the, the I'm you know I'm glad I watched it. I I knew from fairly early on that they weren't getting a second season, so it's not one of those where you know. And this was another you know I've I've by now watched a couple of these Hulu shows on on Disney Plus. I guess Hulu does like. Oh, right, and uh, yeah, uh, trivia for the episode points out that A Waking Dream, the, the title, is the, the you know, the yeah, the dreamlike visual imagery, you know, yeah, what, what he, the, the, um, yeah, um, what Harry was experiencing in this episode was basically A Waking Dream. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the the um, right Hulu shows. I I guess to try not to leave too too much of a cliff. I don't know. I I haven't seen that many, but let's see. By now, I guess three. This about Sasha slash Jean Tendre and the clearing all end their first seasons in a way where. You could see, like, hypothetically, they could, you know, well, with this one, they definitely wanted to do more than one season. The other two, they could have if they, you know, if it ended up quite popular enough. Or wait, was Chautauqua? Wh whatever. Anyway, um, I'm overthinking it. I'm known to do that. That's it for this one. Uh, I will probably record the review very, very soon. So, yeah, the, yeah, I will say it was too bad that we didn't get more, you know, apparently Quinn and Ava were in this episode, but they didn't really do anything or say anything, would have been cool to get, but, but, you know, if they thought they were getting another season, I, I get how, yeah, um, that is it from... Oh, and I just realized, hypothetically, if Yelena's father had not called her, if he had gone smoking like the other guy, maybe he would have survived. You know, it's that thing. So she's probably also been, been driven by that. You know, she has to, like, make it mean something that he died because he really wanted to talk to her. You know, so... And maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm giving them too much credit. Maybe over a season two, they could have turned it so she, Yelena, ended up more sympathetic. Because, like, the backstory is there. Hypothetically, they could make her sympathetic. It's just the way that they frame the character is not sympathetic in these two episodes. Anyway, that is everything so... Right, right, and yeah, we, we briefly see Yelena and Dana as kids, not in the same scene, mind you, 
the good good acting from the from the child actors uh, I thought especially Mila Isabella who plays young Yelena so yeah that is it for this one yeah uh, I still don't have actually I guess I did stop doing the sign off bit several episodes ago anyway I do hope to see more Matt Nix shows in the future because I do think he is tremendously talented and yeah with that bye